can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x and y are positive real numbers that satisfies this equation, 15 raised to the power of x equals 9 raised to the power of y, then our goal is to find the numerical value of 5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if your answer is correct. Now given that x and y are positive real numbers that satisfies this equation 15 raised to the power of x equals 9 raised to the power of y, our goal, our main goal, is to find the numerical value of 5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. Alright, so what we're going to do here is to manipulate this single equation to arrive with this expression 5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. So to answer this question, let's take note of this 9. This 9 simply equal to 3 raised to the power of 2. Of course, 3 squared must be equal to 9. And now, 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of y. Notice we have a law of exponent that says that if we have b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c, it must be equal to b raised to the power of a times c. So the right-hand side of our equation can be written as 3 raised to the power of 2y. Now, this is a good start because we have here 2y and we have here 2y on the expression that we want to evaluate. All right, now, next, how about 15? 15 can be written as 5 times 3 and 5 times 3, of course, 15. Now, another law of exponent says that when we have a times b raised to the power of c, it must be equal to a raised to the power of c multiplied by b raised to the power of c. So, the left-hand side of our equation can be written as 5 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 raised to the power of x. Now notice, we have the same base of 3. So why not? Let's combine them. So let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the power of x. And if we do that, we get 5 raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of 2y over 3 raised to the power of x. Now, another law of exponent says that when we have b raised to the power of a over b raised to the power of c, we have the same base and different exponent. This can be written as b raised to the power of a minus c. Now, on the right-hand side of our equation, take note that we have the same base, so we can apply this law of exponent. Therefore, the right-hand side of our equation can be written as 3 raised to the power of 2y minus x. Again, we have here 2y minus x. Alright, now what we're going to do to eliminate this 2y minus x or to bring this 2y minus x in the denominator. Now notice, a while ago we have a law of exponent that says that when we have b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c must be equal to b raised to the power of a times c. So we can now put this 2y minus x in the denominator if we raise both sides by 1 over 2y minus x. So let's do that. Alright, now, on the right-hand side of our equation, notice we have here 2y minus x over 1. And, and if we multiply this by its reciprocal 1 over 2y minus x, this becomes 1. So the right-hand side must be equal to 3 raised to the power of 1. And on the left-hand side of our equation, notice that we have here x over 1. So if we multiply this by 1 over 2y minus x, this will give us 5 raised to the power of x over 2y minus x. And also, we want here the value of 5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. Now, this is almost the same. The only difference is we need 3 beside this x. So, to do that, let's raise again both sides by the power of 3. Now, using again this law of exponent, we can say that the left-hand side of our equation can be written as follows. We have 5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. And this can be written in this form also. 
5 raised to the power of 3x over 2y minus x. That's the same thing as the expression that we want to evaluate. And it must be equal to 3 raised to the power of 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27. Therefore, the value or the numerical value of the expression that we want to evaluate, given this equation, 15 raised to the power of x equals 9 raised to the power of y, must be equal to 27. And as always, we are done. Now, for your practice, try this question. So, x and y are positive real numbers. Given this equation, 10 raised to the power of x equals 16 raised to the power of y. Then, your goal now is to find the numerical value of 5 raised to the power of 4x over 4y minus x. So, don't forget to show your solution and comment your answer on the comment section down below.